Hi, I'm Reba Hervis, Artistic Director at Overshadowed Theatrical Productions, joined by my co-host, Rebecca Leland. Welcome to this week's episode, From the Wings. And this week's episode is super special because we have Jonathan Wessel joining us. He's an actor and stunt performer. Oh, I'm so excited. Well, where is he? He should be dropping in any second now. There he is. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Jonathan, so much for being here. But I have to tell you, that really took my breath away. That, well, we're going to do an instant Mine replay too. of Reba's face. <laughs> I, I tried very hard to have a no reaction, but full disclaimer, even though stunts are a really big part of theater, they kind of scare me. So do you, do you have any words of wisdom of, you know, why I shouldn't be scared or the magic behind that? Or is or, that the point of stunts? Or is that the point? Well, stunts are obviously a very important part of film, theater, and all of that. And it is true, they're very dangerous, and by definition, stunts are dangerous. So you want to try to mitigate any possible risk. You want to get rid of any potential for injury. Obviously, you can't completely do that because there's the human element that can cause problems and potential uh, injuries. But as long as you're doing everything you can and the people who are doing it know what they're doing, then you should be fine. And so for like when you're doing stunts like this, you should definitely know what you're doing otherwise mm. you can get seriously hurt mm. so i guess that goes to the question what goes into competent training because in mm. theater i feel that there's a lot of people who think that stunts are very alluring and it looks really cool so what goes mm. into the training you've had and what kind of people should or shouldn't potentially do stunts definitely people most people even if they don't want to do stunts are intrigued or fascinated by stunts mm -hmm. they look at something like that like a like a fire burn or some really cool car stunt and they're like wow that's so cool define a fire burn Ooh. That's where you light somebody on fire. <gasps> Show us. He goes. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it looks very, very cool, mm -hmm. but it is very dangerous, like I said. So the people that should or shouldn't do it, it depends on uh, their training, their mental acuity. Okay. Ooh. I would say. He is using the biggest words. Because <laughs> he's showing his mental acuity. Ooh. Yeah. Really, really important to mm. make sure that you have very good self-awareness of, mm. of your body and the capabilities of being able to do the stunts. So did you go to school for this? I did. So mm. I went to two different places, Asylum Stunts in Chicago, which is actually rebranding, changing their name and all of that. Uh, so spooky. I thought that was an interesting thing to bring up. Yeah. It is spooky, but... Uh, Hello. What are they, can we know what they're changing it to or no? I don't know yet. Oh. I have no idea. Uh, what is this? Halloween. Do you have any idea what she's talking about? Maybe, I'm not sure. The movie, Halloween. I've heard of the movie, but I don't get the reference. Uh, so, <laughs> really off track here now. Uh, so, so I went to Asylum Stunts where I learned about fights, falls, choreography, wire work, blah, 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 all that good stuff. And then I went to Bobby Orr Motorsports in Florida for stunt driving. Ooh, wow. So, Ooh. So those kind of skills are things that you need to get trained and you can't just Oh, I think I'll try driving this car up to the camera and stopping it just short yeah. of it. And, and is it expensive? Is that schooling? Well, like the, how much would you? So the, the driving school is pretty expensive. Uh, and the, the actual so asylum stunts is much less expensive by comparison. Do you ever get afraid? Yes. Um, and it's not so much like being afraid like I'm, I'm going to, I'm too scared to do it. It's more so that adrenaline mm. rush oh. of here comes the stunt mm. that I've got to do. And you, you know what's entailed with doing it. So, you just, you, so you're not really afraid you're going to get hurt. You're just... Not so much, no, because I have the confidence of doing it a lot. And the big question is, have you gotten hurt before? Not seriously. Okay. Minor things. Wait, what's a minor... I feel like a minor thing to you might be a big thing to me. <laughs> a minor thing to me is getting a concussion. I mean, you can only get so many of those. Before I know! I what's the highest? that you've ever fallen? Uh, so far in a live show, 13 and a half feet. On the ground, you look up and go, oh, 13 and a half feet. Oh yeah. Then but you, you get, get up, up there. there. Like, have yeah. you been on those high ropes where you get like all in and like they-, they We're talking about wire work. Yeah. Have not done a ton of wire work. Okay. Cause you uh, like, like nowadays all like ca the casual man can do wire work, but it's only eight feet up, up off the ground. And so it's, it's so like, scary. So oh, you like and 13, even eight yeah. feet Eight feet, like scary. I did it once, they harnessed me and then I had to get off. Yeah. Really? Yeah, it's so much scarier. Cause so you, you look at them, you're like, oh, it's not that high up. It's so 
So you do not see a career for yourself no, in stunt no, work? No, would never, could never. Yes. In any way, shape, or form. So this is like, ooh, Jonathan, yes. you're the man. You're the man, Jonathan. <laughs> well, I'm one of them. So I guess what would you say to someone who's thinking about a teenager, maybe upper 20s, yeah. they're thinking about going yeah. into it, what is maybe a warning or, hey, try this first, and then maybe you'd see if you should go into it or not. Yeah. What, what's a, some Great piece of advice? Great question, Rebecca. I would say talk to someone, if you know someone in the stunt industry, and get their thoughts on it. If you have a good athletic background, that's always a plus. Mm -hmm. You do have to have a certain element of, I'll say bravery, but I mean, that's probably not the correct word. No, to, yeah, to hype yourself up, yeah. Things. Yeah, be a man <laughs> or woman with bravery. Because if you're doing a high fall, like say a 40, 50 foot high fall, that thing looks like a postage stamp. Wow. And so you have to trust that you, you, you have the skills to be able to do the fall properly so you don't over rotate or under rotate. So you land like you're supposed to and that the guys on the ground will save to you so they can move the bag if you veer off course or will guarantee you that the bag is inflated properly. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of trust that goes into it. So this is theater. So mm -hmm. the big question is, can you make money? Is there an industry for stunts? In film, definitely. Okay. Um, I work a lot in the faith-based industry with, wow. with film okay. as far as stunts go. Yeah. They're usually going to Hollywood mm -hmm. and hiring people out of there to do stuff. Wow. So if you want to get started in the, as a stunt performer in film, in Christian film especially, there's a, a growing market for it. So you That's get your awesome. training, you can definitely yeah. work your way in. You may be thinking that, st that stunt work and the things that you think about are mainly for film, but we've actually used it quite a bit in choreography for our musicals. Uh, a lot of plays require a slap or a punch. Um, Beauty and the Beast required Gaston falling and a whole fight scene, the, the knife work with 12, with 12 Angry Men. Um, so there's a, there's a lot of plays that are out there that do require this. So even if you're not interested in participating yeah. yourself full time, I think for you as an audience, it's really interesting to know that this is not stuff that we just don't give any care about and we just say, okay, go ahead and slap that person. Yeah. And I really do think that that is one of the things that you as an actor have to make sure that you mm -hmm. vocalize in the audience. I know sometimes the audience is sitting out there and they're like, oh my goodness, I can't believe they're walking up there. But it feels different after we've rehearsed it and practiced it. But I do think you have to be responsible for your own safety too. Yeah. Jonathan has already subscribed to our channel and he's looking forward. Obviously. And so did my husband, as you heard. And so did yeah. Chuck. I'd love for you to come along this journey with us and learn a little bit about theater on and off the stage and just about God and who he is right. and how he created us. Maybe you could share it with someone as well that might yeah, also share. say, ooh, you gotta hear these girls talk. <laughs> so until next time, this is just me. And me. And me. Talking to you from, from the, the wings. wings.